Welcome back sa ating discussion sa Network Theorems. Our new theorem that we will be using to simplify circuit analysis is Thevenin Theorem. Thevenin's Theorem is actually a, a way to simplify a two linear or I mean a linear two terminal circuit into an equivalent circuit which consists of a VTH, the Thevenin uh, voltage or actually that is the open circuit voltage at the terminal and yung magsisiris tayo sa kanya ng RTH or the equivalent resistance at that terminals when the independent sources are turned off. So for example, we have a linear two terminal circuit. So it can be a complex circuit with um, independent and dependent sources. And then we have um, dun sa bandang left side or I mean right sides, uh, we have a load. Ito yung sinasabi nating terminal A and B. Okay, we can uh, get an equivalent circuit for this to simplify our analysis by, okay, una, ito turn off muna natin lahat ng independent sources to get RTH. So, kukunin natin yung equivalent resistance ng ating uh, linear two terminal circuit when the independent sources are turned off. So, turn off mo parang dun sa superposition, turn off lahat ng sources, kunin yung RTH or the equivalent resistance ng ating terminal. And then, kukunin din natin yung open circuit voltage. Actually, VTH is, uh, is equal to VOC, the open circuit voltage at the terminals, A and B. And then, uh, i-retain natin kung, kaila, kung meron tayong kailangan kunin dun sa load. So, this will be our Thevenin circuit. Ayan. Yun yung tinatawag nating Thevenin circuit. Simplified. Equivalent circuit siya nung linear to terminal circuit. So, bale, ginagamit ito para mas mapadali yung analysis natin rather than uh, kapag kumukuha tayo ng parameters dun sa isang element sa circuit, buo or yung original circuit pa rin yung ina-analyze natin. But using Thevenin's theorem, isa-simplify natin yung uh, two-terminal circuit ng original, yung original circuit. Okay? Isa-simplify natin siya. Okay? with an equivalent circuit consisting of open circuit voltage for VTH plus the equivalent resistance RTH. Para ang focus na lang, so meron ka na ng value nito, kung, kukuha ka man lang, kung kukunin mo lang din ay yung voltage drop or the current that will pass through the load, madali na lang siyang kunin. However, we have two cases no, under Thevenin theorem, parang sa superposition. According to sources then, yung unang case natin if the network has no dependent sources, like in the superposition, mas madali ang analysis if we have a circuit, given circuit, na walang dependent sources. All we have to do is uh, to find, okay, ang, ang hahanapin lang natin is, una, for example, this is our linear to terminal circuit, i-off mo muna lahat ng sources, okay, Turn off all the independent sources and then we will find RTH. Hanapin mo yung equivalent resistance no ating uh, circuit. Okay? After that, um, kailangan natin mahanap what is VTH, yung open circuit voltage or the Thevenin voltage source using any network theorem or analysis. And then we simplify the circuit into a ito, Thevenin circuit. So we have ayan. For example, meron tayong unknown na R L. Meron tayong unknown dyan. Tapos, kunin natin muna yung RTH by turning off all the independent sources. Okay? Tapos, ito yung terminal natin. A, B. Kasi meron kang reference terminal talaga kung saan ka magsisimplify. Or yung point mo na magsisimplify ka ng circuit. Tapos, kunin mo yung VTH. Paano kinukuha yung VTH? Using any theorem. Okay? Open circuit voltage kasi yan. So, yung original circuit mo, babalikan mo. So, muna, turn off lahat ng sources. Hanapin si RTH. Kapag nahanap na si RTH, standby yung data. Tapos, balik uli sa original circuit. 
Ngayon, meron kong given na reference terminal kasi doon sa problem. So, anapin mo yung open circuit voltage ng terminal na yon That would be your VTH. So, kapag nahanap mo na yon paan mo hahanapin? Any network theorem na gusto mong gamitin or uh, best suited dun sa ating uh, circuit. Okay, tapos yung VTH in series with RTH, idugtong mo kung ano man yung hinahanap, etc. Kung may nahanap mang uh, I, I sub L, o kaya voltage drop dun sa ating load. So, madali lang kapag case 1. Dun sa isa, we have another case, case 2. Okay, sa case 2, we have dependent source. Okay, we have dependent sources. So, guys, sa superposition, hindi natin turn off yan once na uh, naghahanap tayo ng RTH. Okay, so, nandun pa rin sila. So, paano natin hahanapin si RTH? Kasi you cannot find the RTH kung meron kang dependent sources. Okay? So, what we will do is, um, una, again, turn off the independent sources. Okay? And then, we apply a voltage source V sub O. Okay? We apply voltage source V sub O at the terminals A, B. Okay, and then we determine the resultant, resulting current I sub O. In such a way, makukuha natin yung RTH. RTH using also is V sub O over I sub O. Okay, so maglalagay tayo ng uh, V sub O. Okay, ikaw ang maglalagay. Tapos, meron kang circuit dito. Analyze mo, kunin mo yung v sub, uh, I sub O. Okay, from this part. And then you will get RTH by Ohm's law. Or you can... Uh, replace or add a current source I sub O and then hanapin mo yung open circuit voltage. And then, same formula din ang gagamitin to get RTH. Okay, ngayon, ano yung value ni V sub O or I sub O? V sub O, okay, we may assume that V sub O is 1 volt and I sub O, kung yun ang gagamitin mo, 1 ampere. Okay, yan. So, ganun ang gagawin natin. Turn off all the independent sources. Okay, tatanggalin mo. And then, or turn off. To turn off mo and then maglalagay ka ng either V sub O or I sub O with value of 1 volt or 1 ampere respectively. And then you will find, okay, find I sub O for V sub O, V sub O for I sub O. And use this formula to get RTH. Okay, so ganon. Medyo matrabaho kapag meron tayong a problem with dependent sources. Okay, so let's try. Okay, mag-try tayo ng sample per cases. Okay, these problems are based from the book of Sadiko. There. Okay, so punta tayo sa problem 1. Yeah. Okay, so sa problem 1, uh -huh, ayusin ko lang itong ating sumulaya tablo yeah, so problem one. This is under. Oh, tignan muna natin kung anong case siya. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of the circuit shown in the figure. So, kunin natin yung Thevenin equivalent circuit. Okay, to the left of the terminals A, B. Ayan, yung sinasabi ko, meron talagang bibigay na reference. Okay, dito. So, ito. Itong part na to. Itong part na yan, hanggang dyan. Ayan, ayun terminal kasi. Ayun yung terminal natin. Ayan. Itong part na to, kukunin natin yung equivalent. Okay? Equivalent, uh, Thevenin equivalent circuit. Ayan. Ayan kasi siya. Ayan. Ito yung terminal natin. A, B. Tapos, lalagay, nandun pa rin kasi si RL eh. Ipapakuha siguro dyan, RL. So, di, kapag may RL na ganyan, that is a variable si store. Then, find the current through RL. Ayan. Oh. Hanapin natin yun yung um, current through this um, RL. Kung 6 ohm siya, 16 and 36. So, simplify muna natin yung circuit. Kunin natin yung RTH at saka VTH. Ayan. Kapag ganyan na kasi ang circuit, madali na lang hanapin. Yung IL dito, yun na din yung dadaan na current dito. Okay? Kung hahanapin yung IL. So, we can definitely find that if this is our circuit, mas madali siyang hanapin. Rather than kung tatlong beses kang kasi 
kung maghahanap ka ng IL dito at tatlong case yan, tatlong scenario. So, medyo matrabaho ka kung pwede ka mag-noodle, etc. Okay, so yun yung ating problem. Sa at, sa prob, okay. But basically, this is under case 1 kasi yung mga sources natin ay dependent. Dependent sources sila. Okay, so according to case 1, okay, ang unang step is to find RTH. And then after that, we have to find BTH. So, for RTH muna tayo. So, A for RTH. So, ang... Sa RTH natin, ang gagawin natin ay... Nalap ako magandang kulay. Apple gray. Okay, ang gagawin natin sa RTH natin is turn off lahat ng sources. Mm, turn off. Tapos, uh, hanapin natin yung equivalent uh, resistance from the terminal AB. Dito, from terminal AB. Ayan. So, redraw natin yung circuit na wala na yung ating mga sources. So, ito wala na yan. Ayan. Tapos, nandun pa rin si 4. Sige, mamaya na yan. Ayan. So, ito yung terminal natin, AB. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. RTH. Okay. Tapos, wala na din to. Meron tayong 1 ohm resistor. Okay, 1 ohm resistor. Ito, tanggalin na natin yan. Tapos, meron tayong 12 dito. Tapos, meron tayong 4. Okay. Okay, meron na yung 12. Tapos, meron 4. So, 12 ohms. 4 ohms. Ayan. So, kunin natin yung equivalent yan. 